Mission accomplished. Hi everyone, my name is Andrew Leevold from Trash Video, welcoming you to a special edition tonight of Schlock Treatment, The Weng Weng Story Part 1. Now the 1981 Manila International Film Festival was designed by First Lady Imelda Marcos as an elaborate showcase for Filipino culture. To everyone's horror, the only film that sold to the world was a midget spy film, a miniature mockery of Western pop iconography and a joyously naive celebration of Filipino goon cinema called For Your Height Only. Its star, a two foot nine primordial dwarf named Wang Wang, became the most famous Filipino celebrity of his generation, both inside the Philippines and abroad. Yet curiously, less than 30 years later, the real Wang Wang story has all but been forgotten, even by those who worked alongside him. He's listed in the Guinness Book of Records as, at just 83 centimetres tall, the shortest ever lead actor in a motion picture. And that's as far as the official story goes. Blame faulty or selective memories, or a fad-driven culture that never pauses long enough to ask who, what, or why. But the truth is, the story of Wang Wang has become one of the Philippines' greatest urban legends, and the wildest and wooliest of stories fill in the gaps. Stand-up comedian married to a porn actress, real-life secret agent, hit karaoke chanteur with Imelda, the flow is endless. And once the horse crap hardens, it's almost impossible to extricate truth from fiction, the right from the rot. Was he truly a national disgrace? Or was he just small enough to have slipped between the cracks of history? It's taken me over a year, three visits to the Philippines, and more than 40 interviews with the people closest to him, including his only surviving relative, to glean the following information. There are still enormous gaps, but this is the most complete portrait of Wang Wang I've been able to put together. And my documentary, The Search for Wang Wang, screening at the Brisbane International Film Festival on Sunday, August the 5th, is as complete as it ever will be. Wang Wang was born Ernesto de la Cruz, the youngest of five brothers, on 7th of September 1957 in Baclaran, a district of Pasay City, which is now part of the sprawling 17-city metro Manila. A condition known as primordial dwarfism caused him to be born, in the words of his brother Selling, no bigger than a Coke bottle, and he spent the first 12 months of his life in an incubator. He was not expected to live. Naturally, it was declared a miracle when he did, and in a country that venerates miraculous acts of faith, it is no surprise that Wang Wang was dressed as the Christ child figure at the head of Baclaran's yearly Santo Nino parade. A cheerfully mischievous child, he was nicknamed by his family Wang Wang, an epithet usually reserved for toy dogs. He was obsessed with martial arts and trained almost daily until his instructor contacted film producer Peter Caballes and said, you just have to see this. Peter and his wife, the successful businesswoman Cora Ridon Caballes, took Wang Wang on the rounds of film producers, including Bobby A. Suarez, whose novelty kitty films The Bionic Boy and Dynamite Johnson were already international hits. Suarez turned down the idea of Wang Wang as a midget Superman, but successful indie producer and director Louis San Juan, who specialised in kung fu films for the export market, cast Wang Wang in a cameo in a film whose name is now lost to the sands of time. Peter Caballes then introduced Wang Wang to the king of Philippines comedy, Dolphy, who cast him as his kung fu kicking sidekick in the spy cape of the quick brown fox in 1980 and western parody Da Best in Da West in 1981. Wang Wang, meanwhile, was a frequent visitor of the Marcos family at the presidential palace, where he was made an honorary secret agent by future president General Ramos and was presented with a badge and a 25 caliber pistol. This very act may have been the direct inspiration for Wang Wang's first starring role as the miniature Agent 00 in For Your Height Only, made in 1981 for Peter and Cora's production company Liliu. Eddie Nickhart, renowned stunt director for SOS Daredevils, trained Wang Wang every day for three months to be a professional stuntman and was given his first opportunity to direct. 
And what a job he did. Over the astounding course of the film, Agent 00, our curious little brown hero with a receding Ramones bowl cut and an all-white suit and boater, cracks an international drug ring, gets the girl, loses the girl, and infiltrates the secret lair of evil criminal mastermind Mr. Giant, played appropriately enough by a dwarf. All with an armful of gadgets and his world-famous trick of kicking someone in the balls and then running between their legs. It's hard to pin down the appeal of For Your Hide Only. It's not just the novelty of seeing a Filipino midget pretending to be a gun expert and ladies man, or the inexplicable thrill of watching bad, and I mean bad, kung fu movies. Maybe it's the inadvertently genius deconstruction of both Western action films and their Pinoy counterparts, or the surreal pot-addled dubbing by American expats and Apocalypse Now survivors Jim Gaines and Nick Nicholson, or inspired casting of every bad guy or goon still alive at the time, and the James Bond of the Philippines himself, Tony Ferrer, aka Agent X44, as Wang Wang's boss. Perhaps it's a combination of its constituent elements, or something new altogether. It all adds up to an absurdist masterpiece of gloriously bad cinema, and one which was sold all over the world and became one of the Philippines' most famous exports. The more we screened the film on Trash Video's film tours around Australia, the more I realised the power of Wang Wang to transform a jaded, cynical audience. We love Wang Wang, they would chant after the film, and each time I sat through the movie with a new set of faces, I would experience once again the sheer joy of watching the film for the first time. And now it's your turn. Next week we present the 1982 sequel, The Impossible Kid, and The Wang Wang Story Part 2. But now, here is the first appearance of the incredible Wang Wang as Agent 00 in the 1981 For Your Hide Only.